Scientists who solved a mystery of the universe were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics today. Peter Higgs of Britain and Francois Angler of Belgium suggested that a subatomic particle known as the Higgs boson gives mass or substance to everything we know. Mark Phillips tells us more about what many call the God particle. They've sung his name and they've smashed subatomic particles against each other to prove the Higgs boson particle that he theorized 50 years ago must exist actually does. And now in Stockholm, they've given the biggest prize in science to the man who gave the particle its name. Professor Peter Higgs at University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom. Peter Higgs did show up in July last year when scientists at Europe's atom-smashing Large Hadron Collider outside Geneva confirmed his long-held theory that there was a so-called God particle that explained why the universe held together. For me, it's really an incredible thing that has happened in my lifetime. The theory is that the Higgs boson particle acts as a kind of nuclear glue that allows the stars, the planets, and everything else, including us, to exist. It took the 17 miles of tunnel and $10 billion of investment in the world's biggest collider to prove it. But on the day of his Nobel triumph, Higgs, a private man, was as elusive as the particle that took so long to find. Higgs wasn't to be seen today. This is him working at the University of Edinburgh earlier this year. Higgs's co-winner, the Belgian physicist Francois Engler, who worked on the same problem in the 60s, was less elusive. He said he was happy. The staff at the Collider, too, were celebrating the award. And now the choir of workers there has something else to sing about. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.